what it do baby welcome or welcome back to my channel today i'm talking about my favorite topic ever perfumes and i really wanted to tell you guys my most complimented fragrances this is a list of five of my most complimented fragrances fragrances that are crowd pleasers that i cannot wear without someone noticing and this is one of my personal favorite categories of fragrance i obviously love to wear fragrances for myself when i'm just at home or something that makes me feel beautiful and obviously i have to like the scent as well but i think it's just such i think it's just such a huge less whenever you just receive compliments on your scent i love when people tell me that i smell good it is one of my favorite compliments that you could give me so yeah let's just jump right into this video and get started talking about these perfumes first i just want to talk about what may possibly be my favorite scent of all time delina by perfume de marley this was my entry scent to the niche world and it is just so beautiful as far as compliments go unreal i have to tell you guys about this specific situation because i will honestly never forget this night because of this perfume i was going to austin and i had just put on a spray tan so i was super self-conscious about the way that i smelled and i was just spraying this like there was no tomorrow like i honestly sprayed so much of this scent as soon as the night started as soon as i got in the uber to go out to the club the uber driver literally told me i wish that i could trap this scent in here and just keep inhaling so it never goes away i was like really <laughs> I was like, tell me more. That is probably the nicest compliment about a perfume I've ever gotten. That night, I got so many compliments on this scent. People five feet away from me were, could not stop telling me. Like, they literally couldn't even help themselves. But tell me how good I smelled with this perfume on me. And for drunk people to focus on one thing enough to, like, especially a scent, that is amazing. Girls told me that I smelled very expensive and it was just a great night this scent smells super like tonic milky creamy rose it has rhubarb in it which gives it just like a hint of sourness to it she is classy she is feminine she is just absolutely stunning this is honestly just one of my favorite scent profiles like all things aside all things like just how it wears how the longevity is how the compliments are all things aside just the scent itself this is one of my favorite scents i have ever come across i am beyond obsessed with miss delina and not to just ramble on about delina five ever but i really love a fragrance that can be super soft and feminine and light and airy but still have amazing projection and longevity i think it seems like it's pretty hard to do in perfumery to make a perfume that is soft but also strong and i think that is delina to a t so now to talk about delina's sister delina exclusive oh hi sb um delina exclusive honestly I don't really see very much of a huge similarity between Delina and Delina Exclusive, but Delina is meant to be the more dense wintertime, nighttime version of Delina. I recently wore this to my sister's wedding, and not only did everyone else around me smell me all night, but I smelled myself all night, and I smelled amazing. This smells so good. I got so many compliments that night that was one of the only times i've ever really properly worn this scent and i'm so sad that i didn't give it a go sooner because it is such a special fragrance and it's so different while still being crowd pleasing this scent is really really heavy on the incense note in there like a powdery incense if you just picture an incense stick burning that has heavy doses of rose and powder that would be this scent it is a little bit sharp but not in a super aggressive way like as sharp as you would expect a powder to be it's not like a sour sharp it's more of like a powdery rosy sharp intense very strong 
fragrance. Now we have Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming, the 2017 formulation. It's recently been reformulated, but I know you can still find a bottle of this out there so definitely go get your hands on it because i truly believe every woman should have this in her collection it is amazing i have gotten so many compliments on this fragrance at work guys have complimented me on this and i just want to say i think what separates a lot of times the designer fragrances from the niche fragrances is the longevity and projection and i think what makes this fragrance in particular so special is that it has such amazing longevity and projection being a designer fragrance it's just honestly so this gives me sweet candy classy powdery this honestly just is the smell of feminine classiness in a bottle it has something super addictive about it too like you just want to keep going back to it it has a bit of musk in there as well and this scent is definitely a light and airy scent also has a bit of density to it which i love i just think this scent is honestly such a go-to such a great everyday fragrance such a great signature scent it's honestly phenomenal if you have this in your collection please let me know please comment down below the next one i want to talk about is bond number nine greenwich village i am beyond obsessed with this fragrance every time i wear this fragrance i get a compliment this fragrance actually reminds me a lot of bond number nine bond number nine it actually reminds me a lot of baccarat rouge because it has that ability where you spray it on you and everyone else around you can smell you but you can't smell yourself and i think it's the ambroxan in here which i think also is part of the reason this fragrance is so strong this fragrance honestly i will never forget the first time i smelled it and i was just wowed i was just taken aback i was like oh my god it smells like the greenest bubble gummy juicy fruit concoction you will ever smell and i say juicy fruit but juicy fruit is like 99 cents she smells like she is expensive she smells like money she is rich <laughs> i love the way i feel when i wear this scent yeah i'm obsessed next i want to talk about roses musk by montal this scent oh my gosh this scent is a compliment magnet i can think in my head and pinpoint every time i've gotten a compliment on this scent my concierge has complimented me a lady at the front desk has complimented me a lady at the nail salon has complimented me people at my work have complimented me this scent is a compliment magnet and honestly i don't think i've ever smelled this out and about either which makes it that much more of a gem to me so this scent is really kind of sour to me and i think it's that muskiness in it and don't let that turn you off because it honestly is such a beautiful kind of like sourness to the scent and it has that montal dna in it which is impossible to describe but it smells so good their dna is one of my favorite dna's out there and as the name implies it has heavy doses of rose heavy doses of musk if you just think of a rose musky sour mixture in the most beautiful way possible the scent is it and the longevity and projection on this scent is phenomenal it is phenomenal you will definitely at least get eight hours of wear out of this scent and while you are wearing it it is going to be throwing off of you the next one i want to talk about is one of the newest fragrances to my collection it is initio perfume Privé's rehab and i actually got this this was my first initio and the first day i wore it i went and exchanged it for anisio atomic rose because i didn't think i liked this and then i smelled it recently at the fragrance counter and i was like what was i thinking what was i thinking this scent is so good it might be one of my new favorite scents to wear i don't think i've worn much things in my collection as much as i've worn this scent i seriously cannot get enough of it and everything else that i've mentioned has been very feminine 
not masculine in the slightest this actually leans more masculine if you look at what everyone else says about it but i personally think it's perfectly unisex a guy or a girl could pull this off fabulously it is one of the most addictive smells and i haven't had it that long but i sprayed it at thanksgiving i was wearing it for thanksgiving and my grandma came up and hugged me and she was like oh my god what are you wearing and i was like oh my god do you love it and she was like you smell like a rose and i don't really think she meant a rose because there's no rose in here whatsoever but she was just you know saying i smelled good it is addictive it is delicious it is so good and my dad complimented the scent on me as well so in the short amount of time that i've had this fragrance i've gotten compliments on it which speaks volumes this fragrance along with everything else in the anisio line is blended to absolute perfection like this is quality perfumery and i think the price tag on this is so so justified along with all the other scents honestly but on this it just smells like it's just like the perfumery in this is just so good it's so good i just step back in awe of the perfumer of this because it is blended so beautifully i'm actually going to read you guys a review that i just read on this fragrance because i think she summed up the scent very well she said this is a delicious sweet and aromatic musk blended to absolute perfection the lavender and bergamot combination give it a zingy quality along with a clean sweet musk with ultra smooth sandalwood yes 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 and yes it does smell a bit zinky you can definitely pick up the lavender in there it's really relaxing and it's just like super super creamy but still smells so white and clean this perfume smells like what green blue and white would be all mixed together it is so delicious so good this fragrance also gives me a little bit of tobacco and I'm not sure why because there's no tobacco in there, but I think it's just the addictive quality in this scent. It's so good. Please, please, please go try this if you have not already. So that is it, you guys, for my video today. I hope you liked this video. I hope you have your sights set on one of these perfumes to get your nose on. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much. And hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.